Hello everyone. So this video I'll show you a simple script to do a simple task but this could be quite useful when we are doing data handling or when we are dealing with data for our machine learning projects. So this is one scenario where you have this data set on the left hand side where you can see all the file names have some random name. Maybe this you got from somewhere or you downloaded it yourself but uh, it may happen that you require it the name in a very organized in a sequence sequence way like on the right side like these are the daisy flowers so daisy 001 daisy 002 daisy 003 so how we can automatically achieve uh, this one so how we can automatically rename all these multiple fi multiple files at once and get the desired name so this we can do it with very simple code and that's what i'm going to show you in this video so let's directly jump into the code so before that, uh, I have this data set, which I downloaded from Kegel website. So it's about the flower recognition. So there are uh, five groups of flower and you can see inside this daisy, uh, this all name of all the flower files, there are some random name. As you can see here, similarly, you can see some other folders like rows and there as well, there are some ran random names and we want to organize it in a proper way. We want to rename it in a proper way, in a proper sequence. So let's do that with the help of this code. So what you just need the OS module and uh, this uh, this path is for okay so this is our say hmm. so th this path is to just to get the current working directory and uh, which is our obviously the flower recognition and then this, this is the data path where your data data folders are so in my case this is the path uh, d trainings flower recognition flowers underscore org and when you just copy paste it, you, 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 what you'll get is uh, this kind of name of the path, but you have to put the double slash or it gives an error in the window system. And then data directory is the uh, name of the folder, which you are going to now rename in this particular code. So you can change here, like, so you can see here, so there are five folders, Daisy, Dandelion, Rose, so you can change one by one and get it. In the next clip, I'll show how you, how you can do it all automatically, but for now, Let's assume that uh, Daisy is the directory which we want to rename it. So let me simultaneously run the code as well. So if I run this, let's run it. And then uh, these are the variables which have been read. And the data list will list out all the um, file names which are inside this uh, path which is given. So our path is we are joining the path of data path with the data directory. So this is going to be, if I run this code, you will see this will be pointing towards the folder daisy. So you can see it's D trainings, sorry, D trainings flower, flower recognition, flower org and daisy. So it's this particular line of code will read all the file names in the daisy folder. So you can see this data list. These are all the list of file names in the daisy folder. Okay. Now we have to rename all the files there. So we are going to change our current working directory into the daisy directory using this command os.change directory and uh, this is the path so you can just print and check the path where i am changing it so it's here again it's the daisy folder and then the base name is the base name that which you want to give to your all the files so for say example i i want to rename it as daisy underscore zero zero one daisy underscore two daisy underscore three and so on so I've given base name as the data directory itself, but you can change it to whatever you want to. And then I'm going to loop over all the elements in this list of files. And then I'm going to take the name one by one. And then let me first show you this first type of renaming. And I'm going to rename the file as base name. Plus, uh, this is a string formatting where I'm giving uh, instead of I, I start in Python from zero, I'm giving one, two, three and so on. And this is the extension of the image so you can give a jpj or any any other thing and then it checks whether this uh, existing this re this file is already this file name is already there and if not it it's going to rename and the renaming the main part of the renaming is done by this command os dot rename source file name and then the destination file name okay so let me simply run this code like from the top and we'll see I don't know, maybe, maybe just let me run it here itself. So I have changed directory to daisy and let me run this code and let's see if it renames it or not. 
So it will take some time to rename all the files. Okay, where's my arrow? Ah. Ah, actually, I'm running a code in the background. That's how my system is hanging. So let's open Daisy, and you can see here all the Daisy uh, folder, uh, like the files in the Daisy, has been renamed as Daisy One, Daisy Two, Daisy Three, Daisy Four, Daisy Five, and so on up to Daisy Seven Sixty Nine because there are a total of Seven Sixty Nine items here. Okay, so this way you can you know easily rename your files. So this is for the one folder, and yeah, let me let me come to this. So what happened when we are renaming the folder directly like daisy123 so uh, what happened when we are reading it in a list way so for example let's see i want to so for, for now the file name was this one but again let me read in the same path and it will try to read the rename files so now if you see this data list when we are reading it through this list directory command it reads it doesn't read in sequence like daisy1 then it should come daisy2 daisy3 but it goes in this format daisy1 then 10100 zero, zero, then 101 and so on so in order to avoid this if you want you know to load this file name in your code in a sequence then what you can do is instead of renaming in this way the, the numbers you can just give this format so instead of just this uh, colon 06d and what it will do is it will give you daisy underscore 0001.png and, and so on so let, let's do this one so let's see we are in, uh, so i am currently in this directory now daisy directory so i have to be in that directory and uh, this is just to come back again to your working directory but okay since i'm there already let me just run it here and So it's trying to rename the file. It'll take some time. Cool. Is it done? Yeah. So now you can see. Now the file name instead of daisy1, daisy2, daisy3 is now daisy0001, daisy002, 003 and 4, 5 and so on. So I have just given us up to 6 positions. So uh, if there are like less number of files you can give up to 3, pos three positions or 4 positions and so on. And now if you see uh, previously the data, the files were at as 1, 10, 100. But now if you read it again through this command, we'll see that they are read in a proper sequence. So now if you see they are read in you know 001 002 3 4 in a proper sequence okay so let's put this first. so now if you see uh, in the next i can give you know instead of daisy i can give uh, the another folder which i was having which was dandelion rose sunflower so i can do this one by one or uh, another better way is to read all this at once and rename all this at once so for this i have this another script here so reading all the multiple files so it's pretty simple just there are a few changes so again there will be import os there will be path there will be this data path and then instead of data directory we'll uh, will read all the data directory in this path to this command okay so let me open a new console for you here it's pretty much same just that we have structured it so that all the folders and all the files are read all, all at once automatically and you need not rename you know one by one like you do it here okay so yeah and now you can see uh, this is the daisy folder and other folders are not renamed so you can see dandelion it's still you know some uh, random names rows it's some random name sunflower it's some random name and so is tulip but after running that code uh, you'll see that all all things you know they get properly renamed okay so let me run this part of the code i'll import os and i'll just get the data path okay so i'm not giving data directory because 
all the data directory list will be read through this command. So what this command is, it will list out all the data directory. So you can see this command of OS list directory data path. It lists out that there are five directories, daisy, dandelion, rose, sunflower, and tulip. So I'm going to loop over one by one. And for each of these folders, I am going to read the read, read out all the file names like I was doing this here. It's pretty much the same, but it will be done automatically here by adding one more loop on the top of uh, this. So before, like we had just one loop reading this data list. Now we have uh, looping over this folder and then for each folder looping over all the files. OK. So this will uh, for one by one, this will read out all this uh, daisy, dandelion, rose, sunflower and then this line will do the same what we're doing in the previous file. It's going to list out all the files in this data path, uh, in this path, which is join, which will be pointing towards uh, the specific data directory, which we get here. It could be daisy, dandelion, anything. And then I'll be changing directory to that specific path pointed by the data directory. So it, if it's daisy, it will change the folder to daisy and it will read those file name, which is dandelion, then it goes dandelion. And then the base name again, it's up to you what, what you want to give. In my case, I'm just giving the folder name as the base name. So I'm just giving base name equal to data directory. And then for each of this data directory, uh, which, I, which I'll be looping, then it's pretty much the same as the previous code. I will read out, uh, I'll read out all these names in the list. So for I in the range of length of data list, which is here. And then I'm going to read the image name and then image rename with the base name and this one, and then it's going to read it out. So you can see, and then after every loop, it just changed directly to the working path. But again, uh, in the next path, again, it changed directly to the next directory path here. And then the next one rose and the sunflower and so on. OK, so yeah, let me directly run this code from top all at once. And you can see all the files will be renamed. Let's do that. So um, let me run this code from the top and uh, it will automatically rename all the files in all the folders. So I'll just run it. And so it's renaming files from daisy. Daisy was already done, so it's very quick. Then renaming files from folder Dandelion will take some time. And yeah, so yeah, you can see it, it just completed renaming files from all folders and we can go and verify. So what's wrong now? Yeah. So if you see Dendelian is now very uh, changed to Dendelian 0001, 0002, 0003, 4 and so on. So again, I use six positions like 0004. You can use up to three positions. So in that case, it will be 004, 003. So depending on your requirement and you can see same for rows. It is rows underscore 001. So it has been renamed and sequenced very nicely, even for the sunflower and the tulip. OK, so in this way, you can either, you know, rename a single folder or you, you can rename the files in a single folder. Or you can uh, rename all the files in all the folders in your data, in a data path. So I hope this code is helpful for you, for your uh, work. And yeah, one more thing that I want to show you, which may not be useful, but I, I just found it and it's pretty interesting. So suppose you want to rename. Uh, this files in a sequence what you can do is just control a and right click on the first file why is my system behaving like this and just rename it say test and then it will automatically rename all the files in this folder uh, with test and a number so you'll just see in a few seconds what happens or a few more seconds oh god so you see now the files have been renamed to test space bracket one test space bracket two test space bracket three so it uh, doesn't matter how hard you try so when you rename in this way there will always the numbers will always be coming in this bracket so that's not a problem and but there will be a space between the base name and this numbering system that you see here so that should not any, cause any problem but when we're reading this image file and we're giving this direct path i don't know this uh, gap should not cause a problem, but uh, I don't know. I don't remember did what it did not. So you can try this way also, but uh, I would recommend, you know, just writing the code and doing it. That's, that's the best way. But I wanted to show you this because this also how, how this also a way how it works, renaming all the files in the folder with the sequence. But again, the code way is still better.
and and the um, or this both the scripts will be at my github and i'll post the link in my description so yeah i hope uh, this is helpful for you and till next time keep learning and keep exploring neurons bye